basically a spear on a stick. I shudder to think where this is going to go. Hey, welcome to Rusty Bow. This is going to be a pretty cool episode. Uh, Steve C's out. We're going to work on a knife for him, and we're going to start a Yari for me. And uh, he got me something really cool that I've been talking about for a long time. He actually got it for me. So we're going to unbox that and maybe get to use it today. We'll see. But stay tuned. Okay, Steve C is here, and uh, we're going to unbox the thing he gave me. And uh, then we're going to get some blacksmithing. So. All right, this is this is pretty badass. I've never done an unboxing before, so you know, bear with me. But... So here's the, the test piece, but what he got me was a rusty bow stamp. And we are gonna give this a try today, probably. We'll try it on something, but uh, yeah, that's pretty badass, huh?
Yeah, let heat, heat, more heat. More heat. I would keep working that for a while. I would keep working it long for a while that way and don't make it any thinner until you're ready to commit to the, the shaping of the blade.
see how it's taking it. So I'm going to have to probably stick it in place. Maybe kind of like that. I'd flip it and hit it in the middle and that'll take yeah. that curve out and then it won't be bouncing around so much. Okay, here's an arrow for which there's no video for, but I made it in my shop out of my wood stove and banged it out on my 74 pound anvil. So let's give this a go. Very light. Wow, that flies nice. Let's 
go take a look. Funny, because I said to Steve, I don't have an arrow to test this weekend. And it's like, yeah, actually I do, just one I didn't do a video for. But doing it now. Okay, so, yeah, there's Steve's. He can get his. Here's mine. A little above the target. His actually got the target. Very nice. Um, but, yeah, mine. Ooh. Well, there we go. Yeah, it does drag some hay with it. And I'm putting the, the arrowhead I made my shop next to the socketed one I made last week. And you can see the socketed one is fairly tame in size for me. So you can see I actually can make a smaller, more normal sized arrowhead. Steve's going to shoot the... Oh, not yet, not yet. Yep. The other one made target. Did it hit the target? Yeah. And it's close. Been over a month. Yeah, I made target. I might even be bullseye. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab like this big one. It's basically a spear on a stick. I shudder to think where this is gonna go. <laughs> this is this is not a spear on a stick. I don't know what that is. It's, it's, it's a curved. curved. Yeah, I know. It, it did a 45 at the end. It came in for a landing. Oh, oh. It's heavy. I forget that. Heavy? That one's heavy? Well, compared to what I just... These oh, are very light arrows. arrows. Shoot this. Shoot, shoot the socketed one. All right. I got to shoot that pretty hard. Shoot the socketed one. All right. You got to do the standard oh, yeah. yeah. Socketed. Hopefully I won't hit the ground. You're gonna have to arc it a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna pull this back hard right, so we can get some serious here. Oh, jeez, dude. Yeah, that's heavy. That's what I said, you gotta arc it. <laughs> I put it up high, but apparently not even close to high. Right. Oh. <laughs> well, look at the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so so like the one we we're talking about that landed it came over and did a 45 right here so uh i blame the fletchings and i suppose the fact that it's a giant arrowhead <laughs> but steve you got a bullseye you got two in the target another one hit like right up here yeah i got none man Yeah, yours is right behind the target over here. So, spears, they're all big, no fletchings, crappy, and dowel rotting, so. Here, I'm gonna... Not spears, <laughs> made out of fiber carbon, and there you go. All right, watch. Well, came within a foot or two of it. Yeah. Oh, somebody that was, that was can a, hit the target. That was a slip. <laughs> what uh, what poundage? What that was just the 55, but that's 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 not the problem. The problem is these little ones. A little closer to the stacks. <laughs> uh, hey, here you go. This one's gonna go in just because uh, it has to. See, yours are arrows of destruction. Mine are arrows of terror. I scare the enemy away. <laughs> what slips past you? These are ridiculously. Uh, Okay, there's the carnage of mine. I didn't even make it to the stacks. But, uh, Steve, target. And I think the others came damn close. That's my fun ball. Oh, I've always shot. Ooh, this one's I was a little more accurate with this. Well, 
the thing, the thing with the heavier bows is like your arrows, if they're not, you know, made for a heavy bow, they're going to flex it over the I don't mind doing that with cheap arrows, but when I put an arrowhead at it, I don't want to, you know, yeah. I don't want to go flying weird and then I can't find it. Yeah. Yeah, I meant to hit there. Really, I did. You always shoot better with that. I'm telling you. <laughs> I didn't shoot well. Uh, well. People are going home. It's rush hour. I just shot right through the targets. Oh, oh. I got one down there. And you got one right down there. Well, I got a nice bad grouping. <laughs> nice. See? There you go. All right. A little rotating on there. There you it's go. Really nice, my rusty bow. <laughs> okay. Uh, just gonna put this in the bullseye. I'm going to put this in the bullseye of the bullseye. <laughs> well, not with that. The other ones are fake. Lock <laughs> above. There. That hit the spot. Hey, thanks for hanging out. Uh, really great time and a lot of fun seeing Steve C., otherwise known as the Steve. Uh, you know, it's great doing archery and blacksmithing with him, and he was a lot of help getting my uh, Yari started. So. And the Yari's coming along. It's not the prettiest thing in the world yet, and it might not be, but it's my first attempt, and I'm learning a lot from it. So, very good. And uh, I want to thank everybody also for all the comments and support and stuff. You know, it's great hearing from you. Keep the comments coming and uh, all that. So, really makes all this better. So, um, hope you all had a good week. I will see you on the other side of this one. You stay well. Be good. <laughs>